all right youtubers we are here again with the same chiri chiri chara chara and this time around we are going to look at um how to also migrate um um core php uh, my sql to my sqli the other time we looked at how to migrate uh, my sql to my sqli in code igniter and today we'll be looking at how to migrate my sqli to my sqli um project in um um core php now i have um an, uh, another application that uh I was running with a lower version of PHP and today I'm running it on the same PHP 7 and then I'm having difficulties running that application. So how then do we migrate my SQL to my SQLI in core PHP? Now when you look at um, what I have on my screen, they are saying that on catch error, call to undefined function, my SQL, which is supposed to be my SQL. So how uh, my SQLI. So how do we solve this problem? And I saying that this um, error can be located in the function file line 18. So now when we go to the project file, we have um, my project here. We look for function, um, function f column. This function. If I open function here, um, we have function here, and um, my database is set up correctly, but still I can access the application. I say line 18, which is my SQL. So um we are supposed to convert this to my sqli which um the application can run so now in in trying to convert this to my sqli um what we need to do is that we need to introduce i in front of um, our connection so we have i here and then i here at the same time so we save and then we'll go back to our page and then we refresh our page and we see what happens now um we are still having the same problem if i refresh have a look at it um we are still finding difficulties with the same problem now they are saying that we have um um fetch my sqli in line 10 so let's go to line 10 in the index file to see what happens so we go to line 10 in the index file um where's index file index file index file so we have it here line 10 so i'll introduce some um, i here introduce i here then save and let's see what happens so let's refresh our page and then um more errors have been introduced so they are saying that um we have um the same line 10 and they are saying that um my sqli expects at least um two parameters but it's only one that is given so um how do we solve this problem now if i come back and go to my function file now my function file they have de um, declared a variable here for my sqli so if i copy that variable because it is also expect that variable so if i copy that variable to um to fix in my sql code um, and separate the two of them and save and run my application again to see what happens then now i'm still getting another error saying that undefined variable which is the connection that i picked so now we need to redefine this connection and then we can use it um, to run our application so what we're going to do is that we're going to clear the whole function off and then declare a new connection with our new um, sql um, connection so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to clear off the whole function then i'll declare a variable which is my sqli which is equal to new sql my sqli connection opened then my sqli takes um the four variables at the uh, at the same time and the first variable it takes is the host followed by the user followed by password and followed by the database you are connecting to so what is our host our host is what local host so and then i've declared a variable for what local host and which is what db host that i'll be using so i'm going to provide that so i'll have db host and then comma separated by then the next thing that is to also be looked at is what the username and i've also declared another variable called what db user so i'm going to use that so we have um db user then the next thing that is to follow is the password so we also have db password to as well and the last thing is the database we are connecting to which is also db um name which i have here so now my connection is on and then i can start running my application so now what i need to do is that i need to pass this connection into my sql statement for it to run so 
I'll come, I'll take off um, the first connection, then introduce a new connection in, then refresh my page to see what happened. Now, it's telling me that um, there's an undefined function here, which is called what? Um, connection db which is the first function that was in our function file and we we'll remove it off so what we need to do is that we need to comment this out because we are no more using it so we refresh the page and we have started loading our file so the next errors we are supposed to look out is this so let me select this for us to see it very well so they are seeing that on catch error call to function which is my sqli query int line I'm 77 in the index file so let's go to line 77 so we're running down to line 77 and we have it here so now we're supposed to replace this to be on my sqli so i'll introduce i in front of them but in doing that it's going to take me a lot of time so what i need to do is that i have a good text editor which is subline so i just need to find my sql and replace it with my sqli so wherever there's my sql replace it without my sqli so i will use my um, search function which is a control H on my keyboard here and then I have my SQL replacing to my SQLI which I did that previously so I'll just hit on replace all and every my SQL in this particular file will be replaced with my SQLI so if I hit on replace then all has been replaced so I introduce my connection in um, my SQL query statement and then introduce your comma to separate the two connections together because two parameters are required and this is the first and the second parameter so let's reload our page and our page is reloaded so they are saying that we're having an error somewhere and where is the error they are saying line 10 we have my sql i i so we need to correct that and then we'll proceed so let's go up again then we remove one i from here and then also remove one eye from here because we did the changes earlier on manually so now we reload and then our page is loading so gradual gradually we are heading somewhere so what are we fixing again now we are fixing something here on um, line 10 we still have an error there which is my sql ii so let's fix that too as well line 10 my sql ii which is which file um index line 10 my sqli i which we have solved that but um let me see i i okay um sorry my connection so let's go down to the other connection to i believe we'll have the same problem okay um everything is okay now so let's reload it and then we are good to go now um finally finally we are heading somewhere and gradual gradually we are hitting the bar now the next um, difficulties we have to check on is what um, here so they are saying that my SQLI query expects at least two parameters but one is given and that is still in the same index line 192 line 192 so let's go to line 192 192 is here 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 so we introduce our connection here then comma then we save it and then go back to refresh our document again and we are done with the front page so the front page is done and our software is run correctly now we are supposed to do that for all the pages so if i go to contact right now i have another error saying that on catch error and we'll have connection being declared here a function being declared here so we are supposed to work on that so the file we'll be working on is what the contact file and we have to look at line four so let's go and look for contact file here chiri chiri contact file then we have here line four which we have here to deal with the function let's comment that out and then we move to um php my sqli so let's replace everything then introduce our connection then save then refresh our page to see what happened so hope there are no any errors again yeah so there are no any other errors again so our contact page is also worked on so we go back to home home is working perfectly we come to contact contact is working perfectly to as well so now i'll be taking my last page and the rest of the page you can do that off screen once you know the steps on how to deal with it you'll be doing that by yourself so the next thing we'll be looking at is what login so we have login and the page we'll be dealing with is called the sign in page is that okay oh we can look for sorry 
we have login here rather instead so on define function um connection db we're supposed to comment that out and we're also to look for line four which is that function to deal with and then we'll move to the next line that we're supposed to work on so we have login let's look for login um login 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 we have login here then line four we comment that out save and then check to see whether if there's any sql statement so there's sql statement here so let's replace my sql to my sqli so h then replace all then we introduce our connection here and then separate with a comma so that we have the two parameters fixed in so let's roll through to see if there is any other thing we need to deal with so that is all so we'll go back to refresh our login page and i believe our login page should be working perfectly without any difficulty so um we're having another difficulties that we need to look at because the css files are not picked so you check on the css files and then you can also solve that problem to as well so now the php file for this they are saying that the base url here base url first so where's our base url so we need to check our base url to see whether the base url is right or not so let's go to our function file and we have base url here base url is leading to the um, developer website but our base url is um, local host and um, um less bet so we are going to pick that and replace it with what we have there so we take this and replace it with um our base url here and then reply email address or send the email address you're supposed to fix your own email address so i have um the virus systems at gmail.com and then we save this and then refresh our page and i believe now you should be able to locate our css files and we'll have a good running login page to deal with so this is how to also convert core php application to um, um core php my sql my sql project to my sqli as well so stay tuned with the virus system and if this tutorial helps you very well please subscribe to my channel stay tuned with the channel like my videos and share with others too as well thank you and stay tuned